Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today's video in today's video we are going to discuss about the formula making that is from the very basic chemistry and uh, perhaps I am making this video for a basic uh, lower classes like 7 and 8 and all to all my to all my viewers who are watching this video certainly it is going to or I am just expecting that it is going to help you a lot. Because uh, higher classes maybe I have seen that students are struggling to write down a proper chemical formula. So there are different steps that we need to follow to learn how to make the chemical formula or how to write the chemical formula. But before I start this video, I will tell you that you have to learn 1 to 30 atomic number along with that ki which element has particular uh, charges on them. So this is not a long list, nahi hai. 30 tak ke charges ko you don't have to remember but specific elements they are used in class 7 and class 8 for the formula making. Certainly in class 9 and class 10, so there are certain element, elements in which charges you have to remember. If you are through with those, I have given a chart as well that uh, of those elements and radicals that you have to remember the charges of. Then once you are through with that, it is very easy to remember or to make the chemical formulas out of them. So let's start with discussion. The first step to write the formula is, there are three steps that you have to follow. The first one is, Write the symbol. The first step that you have to write the symbol. In case symbol, the two elements which are or more than two elements which are involved in the uh, formula or in a chemical reaction. The second one is write the charges on them. Obviously, in the beginning for the class 7 and class 8, we are going to uh, make the formula out of two element only or the two radical only. Later, we will proceed as per our requirement. And third step is to cross the charges. Is it okay? So, for first example, if I write two of the symbol that is hydrogen and chlorine. And if I ask that, that is a small l, if I ask that what are the charges on them, so hydrogen does contain plus 1 charge and chlorine contain, does contain minus 1 charge. So what we have to do, you have to cross the charges here, just like that. And normally we will write it as H1 and Cl1, but since both of the elements, first of all, element containing the one charge is not written. Second, element can, if both of the elements are containing the same charges, 2, 3, 4, then we are also not going to write it down because we have to take the LCM out of them. So, if HCl, so then we are not going to write H1, Cl1. In state, we will write HCl as simple as that. Hopefully, you have got three steps. That is, first is to write the symbol of the elements which are involved in formula making, write the charges on them and then cross the charges. So, I have put on some of the examples for you to make you understand in a better way. Let me first choose uh, some other color so that I can give you some examples. So, first formula for sodium oxide. Sodium is Na, oxide is O. So, first you have to write the symbol that is sodium and O, Na and O. Remember the charge, what is on, what is the charge on the sodium? It is plus 1. What is charge on oxygen is minus 2. Then we have to cross in the third step, we have to cross the charges and we are don't, we don't have to mention minus or plus. We have to write Na2O, we don't write 1. So, Na2O, this is what is the formula for uh, sodium oxide. Let's have one more or two more examples. Suppose sodium hydroxide, this is one of the most common bases that are used and even in class set, 7, 8, you have to remember name of this base. So, write the formula or write the symbol of sodium hydroxide. What is the uh, symbol for sodium? It is Na. For hydroxide, it is OH. What are the charges on them? If you will go through the chart, it will show that the sodium does contain plus 1 and OH is minus 1. Why, why hydroxide contains minus 1? 
why hydroxide contains minus 1? This is the question that you need to ask yourself uh, or consider it as a homework. <laughs> so, you have to cross the charges 1 and 1. So, instead of writing sodium 1 and OH1, we do not write 1 and 1. So, the formula for the sodium hydroxide will be NaOH. So, we have included or I have included two more uh, examples into it. So, uh, let, me, let me take the fourth one. We have to write the calcium chloride. So, what are the uh, symbols for calcium and chloride? That is Ca and Cl. What are the charges on calcium? That is plus 2. On chlorine, it is minus 1. Then we have to cross Ca1 with that, that we do not write 1 and Cl is 2. So, CaCl2 is the formula for calcium chloride. Is it okay? Is it okay? If you are through with this concept and the previous concept that I have told you that to write the formula, the symbol, write the charges and cross the charges, there are the list of common uh, cations and the anions that is positive and the negative charges that are given. And I let you know that ki this list approximately contains most of the elements from where the questions can be asked in the science paper up to uh, I think that class 7, 8 and 9 this time. So, uh, just take any two examples for understanding, just take any two examples. So, yeah, if I take calcium and uh, hydroxide, calcium and hydroxide. So, if you will write down what is the symbol, writing symbol first, let me abbreviate it as SYM, so calcium hydroxide, calcium you have to make the calcium hydroxide. So, what, what is the calcium, the symbol for calcium that is Ca and hydroxide is OH. Now, you have to write the charge. Charge is equal to, what is the charge on the calcium? That is plus 2 and hydroxide does contain minus 1. Sir, from where you have got? Yes. Calcium, I have got Ca2 plus and hydroxide we have got OH minus. That is why I have written plus 2 and minus 1. Then third step was cross the charges. We have to cross the charges. What will be the formula? C A O H. Most of the students are going to make the mistake here by writing 2 here. So, if you will apply or writing 2, if you will write 2 here, it will be C A O H 2. That means calcium 1, oxygen 1 and hydrogen 2. But hydroxide is a radical, that is why we have to write it down in a bracket and putting it twice, CaOH whole twice. It does mean that calcium with two oxygen and two hydrogen. Is it clear now? Is it clear now? Take one more example, then you will be, I think that you will be more than enough. So, we are taking some ammonium nitrate. So, we are taking the example of Ammonium nitrate, sorry I have written with the capital letter, but you have to write with the small letter. So, ammonium, first you have to write the symbol. So, what is the symbol of ammonium? That is NH4 plus, NH4 plus. So, if we are writing plus here, that is why the charge is plus 1. Nitrate is put on here, that is NO3, NO3 minus from here. So, it is minus 1. Now, you can easily see that they are containing equal amount of charges. So, the final formula will be after crossing, the final formula will be NH4 NO3. That is it. So, guys, uh, you can just pause me here and you can take the screenshot of uh, this slide that, that is containing most of the common cations and most of the common anions that you must remember it along with their charges. Since I have mentioned the charge before them, then you can easily go through it and understand that what are the different charges on different type of uh, cations and anions. And if you will uh, remember this thing, if you are through with these cations and anions, the making chemical formula is going to be a cup of tea for you. It is going to be a just like a pancake and anything else, like peanut butter. Is it okay? So, uh, I think that this was uh, for you. 
for <laughs> examination point of view and certainly this is going to help you for the grade 7, grade 8, grade 9 students or all the fellows who are just watching this video right now. Uh, this is going to help you for the examination preparation. Thank you so much. And if you have liked this uh, video, and certainly it is, uh, if it is going to help you a lot, then do not follow to subscribe to my channel. Just give a thumbs up. Thank you guys.